Hey there gang, Kawaii50 here with another Honkai Star Rail video, and it is time to talk about one of the coolest looking healers in my opinion, and in terms of style and character design. That is a character I wasn't initially sold on, but I really, really like now. That character is Gallagher. We're going to be going over all aspects of Gallagher's kit, from idolins to relics to light cones, the whole shebang. So hopefully if you ended up summoning Gallagher recently, you can make the most of having him on your team. I hope that this video ends up helping you out. If it does, please consider liking, subscribing, sharing, commenting, etc. All of those would really help me out as we try to get to 10k subs by the end of the year. Alright, now that the intro's done, let's take a look at what Gallagher has to offer. Gallagher himself is the absolute pinnacle of cracking open a cold one with the boys, healing your party by just essentially chucking them beers. That's pretty awesome if you ask me. He does this by his skill Special Brew, which immediately heals a target ally for 1600 HP. This may not seem like a lot to you at the outset, but wait, there's more. This scales off of outgoing healing. So after you end up investing enough in outgoing healing, you are likely going to see a Gallagher that ends up healing your DPS units to basically full. And if you've got enough in outgoing healing, dang, maybe your tanks will get a healthy boost as well. It is not nearly as low as it initially seems. It can actually be quite, quite helpful. Gallagher is also one of those healers that ends up healing by harming another. He does this with his enhanced basic attack Nectar Blitz. Now normally his basic attacks isn't a super big deal, but Nectar Blitz hits an enemy for a massive amount of fire damage. We're talking a 150% point boost at level 6, it's basically how I'm looking at these skills, but this also reduces the target's attack by 15%, lasting for 2 turns, so you get a debuff included in here as well. Gallagher's ultimate is Champagne Etiquette, inflicting the besotted status on all enemies, lasting for 2 turns, and this also deals fire damage equal to 150% of Gallagher's attack to all enemies. This is the way that you enhance your basic attack to Nectar Blitz, but it also grants besotted. What is Besotted? Well, let me tell you right now. Besotted increases the break damage the targets receive by 12%, and every time a Besotted target is attacked by an ally, that attacker gets their HP restored. So your tanks using their basic attacks, your debuffers debuffing, as well as your main DPS dealing damage, all of these are ways to increase their healing. That is how they end up healing mainly from Gallagher. But that special brew skill is mainly there in order to provide an emergency heal if they don't end up healing enough from Besotted. Realistically, if you've got a lot invested in your Gallagher and you are using special brew, odds are that's going to be used on another supporter or a tank that has recently used their shield skill. Somebody who isn't necessarily attacking their enemies with impunity, like a debuffer or a damage dealer would be doing. So Gallagher's Idolins are pretty decent, and I'm going to list them in order of effectiveness, starting with Lion's Tail. Lion's Tail is incredibly important and something even Bailu doesn't really get an advantage for. Sorry, Bailu, you're still kind of the worst healer in the game, in my opinion. When using Lion's Tail, uh, you remove one debuff from an ally with Gallagher's healing skill, and you also increase their effect resistance by 30% for two turns, preventing them from getting debuffed again. This is fairly potent, and I've used this to cleanse things on my allies, like any sort of stuns or things like that, allowing them to immediately hop back into the fight. This skill in and of itself is game-changing, to the point that I wouldn't even necessarily recommend that you use your Gallagher unless he's at least E2. That is how important this is. Barring that, we next want to look at Gallagher's E1, Salty Dog. This is almost as important, but not nearly as important because, well, you get it if you're going to E2 anyways. When Gallagher enters battle with Salty Dog, he regenerates 20 energy and increases his effect resistance by 50%. This is great because it prevents your Gallagher from getting debuffed, chained down, and things that prevent him from healing your allies. You want to go ahead and have your Gallagher in such a way that he's not going to 
be taken out of the fight due to any sort of detrimental status effects. Following that, we've got Gallagher's E4, last word. This allows that besotted state to last for one extra turn on the enemy. This can be especially helpful if you find your Gallagher isn't really doing what he needs to do against high speed enemies. Maybe you haven't got good rolls on speed for him, or maybe just in general, the enemy's really, really fast just by their nature. This can really help. And E6, Blood and Sand, increases Gallagher's break effect by 20% and weakness break efficiency by 20%. This is great on any damage dealer, and since Gallagher is a healer that needs to deal damage, this is great on him too. So I sort of admittedly waffled a bit when thinking about Gallagher's relics. I know technically, technically, if you're getting down to brass tacks, if you have perfect rolls, then many would say two pieces of messenger traversing hackerspace and two pieces of passerby of wandering cloud would be the best thing for him. But I'm trying to think realistically. I'm trying to think about what players might actually farm and what players will, you know, they'll most likely get for doing any sort of roles. So you're likely not gonna be trying to bounce between multiple stages for a single character. It is entirely fine, and I would say if you honestly have other characters to farm for, preferable to just give Gallagher four pieces of Thief of Shooting Meteor. This is a break effect bonus, it's a massive break effect bonus, it regenerates energy when he breaks your enemy's defenses. Overall, this works great for what Gallagher is trying to do. When it comes to your stats, you are going to want outgoing healing on the body, and of course, your speed boots. Those are very, very important, especially considering Gallagher in general needs to act in order to do his heal. So stack as much speed as possible, try to get as close as you can to his 150% break effect from your substats, as well as the bonus from Thief of Shooting Meteor, and try to get Gallagher as much effect resistance as possible. He innately has an effect resistance boost on his traces, so you can easily get him to 100% with very minimal effort, especially if you have additional idolins for him. Barring all of those, once you hit all of those criteria in your rolls, just stack as much HP and defense percentage on him as possible, essentially the same as any other supporter or healer you would want to run. Now, you might be asking, what do we do for the sphere? What do we do for the rope? Where energy region rope still remains king, I know a break effect rope might be tempting, and it can be something that you run early on, but you are likely gonna end up capping break effect as you actually get break effect as a substat from all of your other roles. So once you're able to comfortably hit that point, swap over to an energy region rope to use the ultimate more often. That is gonna be your best bet. The sphere, thankfully, is easy. Just stack HP on there. If your healer's dead, their healing output is zero. So make sure Gallagher stays alive. And as we've been talking about this, I've had the two recommended orbs up for Gallagher. Fleet of the Ageless and Broken Keel are going to be your best bet. Fleet of the Ageless is going to be your absolute best, increasing the wearer's max HP by 12%. And when you reach that 120 spree breakpoint, well, everyone is just going to get a bonus from Gallagher existing. You can also go with Broken Keel if you're a little worried about hitting that effect res breakpoint. You haven't necessarily gotten the best rolls on your gear substats. This will also increase all of your allies' crit damage by 10%. Now, like cones, like cones, like cones, what can we give Gallagher to help him out? His best in slot is going to be Hua Hua's premier light cone, Knight of Fright. This grants an energy regeneration boost, and it allows Gallagher to heal off of his ultimate. Whenever Gallagher provides healing for an ally, he will also then grant them an attack bonus that stacks up to five times. I really, really enjoy this light cone. I wish I had gotten it for my Hua Hua, and I wish I had it for Gallagher right now. This basically grants him absolutely everything he wants, especially considering that his ultimate does not heal his allies. This ends up making up for a severe weakness, some would argue, in Gallagher's kit, and makes him a very, very potent healer in the face of overwhelming odds. Next up, What is Real is a light cone that was tailor-made for Gallagher. This increases the wearer's break effect by 24 to 48%, depending on how far you've superimposed it, and allows Gallagher's basic attacks to heal him by 4% max HP plus an additional 800. Again, when this is superimposed 5 can be very, very helpful. I'd also like to recommend Perfect Timing. This grants yet another effect res boost for Gallagher, and this might actually even be better for him than what is real. 
if you're already capping on that break effect because this increases Gallagher's outgoing healing by an amount equal to his effect res. As we've talked previously, Gallagher, very easy for him to get 100% effect resistance. So you want that outgoing healing boost in order to help pump up his skill. Looking at this in combination with the other ways to increase outgoing healing, that base 1600 doesn't necessarily look that bad now, does it? And finally, if you need a three-star recommendation, multiplication is probably going to be one of Gallagher's best bets. This and allows Gallagher to advance his action forward by 12 to 20% after using his basic attack. If you have a low speed Gallagher, this might be the best option for you to equip to him for now while you're waiting to go ahead and farm those speed boots, farm those speed substats, and have him reach that 120 speed breakpoint. Maybe consider using this if you find your Gallagher isn't necessarily getting the turns he needs in order to be effective. And finally, let's talk allies and team comps. Gallagher, by nature of being a healer, is going to fit very well on essentially any team. It's basically the healer's creed. He is going to be able to heal any of his allies, but he is going to be able to heal some allies and help out some allies better than others. Remember, Besotted is a debuff. So allies that end up getting bonuses off of debuffs are going to really like having Gallagher on their team. This, of course, means allies like Acheron, Dr. Ratio, and Topaz. I personally tend to prefer to run my Gallagher in a Dr. Ratio Topaz team. I know I'm running Jing Lu and Blade in the background. It's just what I had available when I recorded. I didn't necessarily super think about that, and I apologize. Please don't bully me. But Acheron Ratio and Topaz are the ones I found to have the most effective assistance from Gallagher. His debuffs are very, very helpful for all all of those characters. And I'd also like to give a shout out to support Ron May. Ron May, of course, is a break effect focused support, and Gallagher is a break effect focused healer. So they are actually going to end up working out very, very well together, especially if your enemies are weak against fire. This will allow Gallagher to go ahead and be a little more effective at breaking down their defenses. But Ron May in general is still just one of the strongest supports in the game, so she's probably going to be on whatever team you're running Gallagher with anyways, unless you're running Sparkle. Overall, gang, I think Gallagher is a fairly decent healer that ends up getting a lot of options available to him, especially if you end up getting him to E6. There is definitely a huge elephant in the room, that elephant in the room being how does Gallagher perform against Luocha, the other healer that is able to attack his enemies. Is an E6 Gallagher as good as or potentially even better than an E0 Luocha? And the answer is, well... Well, I mean... Kind of. It's a long story, honestly. I mean, that's kind of a loaded question at the end of the day. The situations that they end up finding themselves in can be drastically different. I would say in the vast majority of content, Luocha ends up being better just purely based on the notion that he is able to bank an emergency heal that doesn't cost anything. Being able to have that emergency heal available is going to help out your allies in the event that they end up unfortunately getting targeted by any sort of very powerful enemy and hitting that low mark. This is where Luocha truly shines. But if it comes to a piece of content where you are going to end up being very aggressive and your allies may potentially be the only ones attacking with your enemy rarely getting a chance to attack, like say in pure fiction for example, in that situation I would say that Gallagher may end up being the better option. If your allies are constantly attacking, if their speed is high, and you find yourself wiping out your enemies routinely, only getting hit here and there, then the fact that your allies are going to be able to heal off of Gallagher's besotted buff is going to be overall more helpful, and having Gallagher be able to break your enemies will also be overall more helpful. So I guess my final verdict on the matter is Gallagher is preferable in pure fiction. However, Luocha is likely preferable in memory of chaos and other boss fights. When it comes to the rest of the content, eh, farming content isn't that hard in Honkai Star Rail. Go ahead and pick your favorite. But I wanna know what you all think. So let me know your thoughts on Gallagher down in the comment section below. Let me know if you think there are any light cones or relics or potential teammates or anything like that that I might've missed. 
post and let me know if you are actively using your Gallagher in content. Has he been a good healer for you? Have you end up replacing your Lynx, your Natasha, whoever your other four star healer may be, or are you opting for more five star sustain options? Go ahead and let's talk about that and see how much Gallagher is being used down in the comments. As you head down to the comments, be sure to check out the Discord, the Patreon, and the Ko-fi. Huge thanks to everyone on all of those platforms for all of their support, and a big thanks to you here on YouTube as well for watching to the very end. I really do appreciate that. Anyways gang, that's it for me, Kawaii50. I hope you all have a phenomenal day, and I will see you all in the next one.